that's not true. Okay, Grossmont Cuyamaca Community College employees are facing a COVID-19 vaccination deadline at the end of this month. Now, they say that many of the exemption requests are being granted, but that the district is failing to provide them with reasonable accommodations as required by law. KUSI's Teresa Sardina joins us live from El Cajon. She's got more for us on this. Teresa? Good evening, Logan. I am right outside of the Gross Mont Queen Mecca Community College School District, and I'm here with these employees within Gross Mont Queen Mecca and Miramar that they are facing the vaccination deadline January 31st. They are in limbo. They don't know what to do, but they all have something in common. Their religious exemption has been approved, but their accommodations have been denied. And according to the district, these accommodations are not reasonable. It's been a process throughout the day. I did reach out to the district, getting some answers for these employees. And according to the district, we had asked some questions to the, count, the chancellor, rather, and they tell KUSI News that 99% of the exemptions, medical and, re and religious, have been approved, but this is all about case by case. So in some cases, some exempted employees can return to work, mask up, socially distance, and test weekly. So with these employees I've been talking to that reached out to KOSI trying to figure out what to do next week when the deadline approaches January 31st, they wanna know why they cannot return to work remotely or test weekly. And that was their accommodation that was denied. And again, they were given the opportunity to file for an exemption, which they did. They got the religious exemption approved, but the accommodations denied. So tonight, we're gonna have a full wrap up at 10 o'clock. We will hear more from these educators and what the district is saying. But Logan, I did ask the district who is reviewing these accommodations and it is the district office it's hr personnel and some of the the staff so so many questions that we have for the district still these employees here want to know what is the reasonable accommodation and i asked the district and we have not received an answer yet but again these are long-term educators that just want to get back to work they want to work remotely and they wanna be able to test weekly. We have been working on this with so many different districts. We have been covering the mandates within healthcare, first responders, the county and the city, and with the community college districts. And it is, appears that every, every district, every organization is handling these mandates differently. They just are really upset. They wanna get back to work and, and pursue their passion. So we'll have more coming up tonight at 10. It'll be interesting to see what reasonable accommodations the district provides to those employees. Teresa, thanks. Also, local restaurants, Mamaka Community College employees are facing a COVID-19 vaccination deadline at the end of this month. Many of them say that they did receive a religious exemption, but now they say the district is failing to provide them with reasonable accommodations as required by law. KUSI's Teresa Sardina joins us live from Grossmont College, and she's got more. Teresa? Good evening, Logan. Yes, several employees reached out to me in recent days. They don't know what to do. They're confused, frustrated, and sad. They want to go back to work next week, and that deadline is January 31st. They choose not to be vaccinated, and they had the religious exemption approved, but accommodations denied. I did reach out to the district chancellor. Uh, she was unavailable to provide a comment on camera, but did provide a statement. And we were just trying to get some answers and clarification for these employees. So several of them met with me tonight and they were saying they need help. They want to go back to work next week because they do not want to miss out on their dream, their passion, coming back and working with these students. Take a look. The COVID-19 vaccination deadline for Gross Montaquay Maca Community College employees and students is January 31st, when spring semester begins. Several unvaccinated employees reach out to KUSI. All have their religious exemption approved, but their accommodations denied. Some wanting to work remotely and some wanting to come back on campus and test weekly, as they were able to in fall. The district says the mandate has changed. I have the biggest the hurt in my stomach for so many people that are not ready to retire. And they're literally, literally being told, if you don't get the jab, 
you're fired. Love this place. I love my job. They're already accommodating me, but then they, they just decided out of, we don't know why, decided to take that option away from us. Denied both of those. I okay. can't teach. Well, others can. Didn't request accommodation except to continue working remotely or on campus. Patty Sparks, administrative assistant at Grossmont College of nearly 18 years, shares her letter with KUSI from the district she received on January 21st. Her accommodations denied after review and discussion. Remote work is not a reasonable accommodation and is denied. An accommodation to work on site unvaccinated is denied because of the risk of transmission is too high. She's also denied to get tested weekly to work on site. I'm more than willing to mask. I'm more than willing to test. I'm more than willing to, um, you know, continue with the social distancing. I will stay at my desk. Um, however, they've taken that completely off the table. Um, they put me in a category of too high risk. And to date, I still haven't gotten a response on what that criteria is to be too high risk. Employees given an option to use accrued vacation and or personal necessity leave or unpaid leave through June 30th, 2022. We asked the district what falls under reasonable accommodations. We did not get clarification. The district provides a statement to KUSI News on the COVID-19 vaccination requirement. Quote, our district offers medical and religious exemptions and we have approved 99% exemption requests. We carefully review each employee's work situation to determine if they can still safely work. In some cases, exempted employees are working remotely or on site while maintaining distance, wearing a mask and getting tested. We look forward to continuing to work together to maintain the health and safety of our community. The district says they're following the rules and guidance from the Americans with Disabilities Act and carefully review the employee's work situation and possible accommodations. Depending on the job specifics, they have approved employee accommodations and it depends on the specific circumstances and duties. With information on the screen for you, adding to the story, we are sharing Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. It requires employers to provide reasonable accommodations for employees' sincerely held religious beliefs or practices unless it would cause an undue hardship for the employer. Which means now that religious exemptions have been approved, the employer must provide reasonable accommodations for employees. In this case, in the district's letter, they're claiming that the accommodation is using sick leave or vacation and back out live in this letter to the employees the district states if you decline the accommodation offered and choose not to be vaccinated the district will initiate termination proceedings and in that letter they have until friday june 28th to reply to the district so we're going to continue to follow up with these employees and the district because that vaccination deadline is january 31st and we'll have the employees letter and the story at KUSI.com. Reporting tonight in Grossmont, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, it sounds like they've got a few days left uh, to figure out what to do. Teresa, have any of them shared with you if they're going to seek legal counsel and maybe sue the district, claiming that their um, civil rights and their religious rights are being um, uh, violated because of this? Well, nearly 10 employees joined the discussion this evening, and it was mentioned, of course, we cannot... Uh, discuss that you know, at this time, but it's, they clearly say this is discrimination. They also mention that these guidelines are quite different than Southwestern College and Palomar College. So we're going to continue to follow up with the story and check in to see how that college is operating as far as the COVID-19 guidelines. Logan? Seems pretty clear. You put it up there on the screen. Doesn't seem like there's too much confusion about it. Uh, Teresa Sardina live for us there in El Cajon. Teresa, thanks. Meantime, for you tonight at Eastlake High School, a video.